Hey, welcome back. Now today, I want to address something very urgent and important, and that is the very state of the YouTube algorithm and how it is damaging almost every YouTubers who are literally obsessed with it. Of course, I can't speak about this topic without bringing myself into this because I speak about growing a YouTube channel and I'm probably the most obsessed one here. If you take a look at some channels that talk about how to grow a YouTube channel like Think Media, or film booth or channel makers, you might have noticed one thing, and that is their recent videos have probably dropped in views. I mean, let's take Film Booth's channel for example. He's still getting a lot of views, but it is nowhere near as much as it used to, and you can sort of tell that he is trying really hard to get back to what it used to be. Just take a look at these two videos here, almost the exact same thumbnail, which means he is trying to replicate his previous success. But in my opinion, I'm getting really tired of this because one, it takes away all the fun and creativity in creating a video, and two, this cycle is endless. In the last couple of weeks, I hardly uploaded any videos and instead, I focus on other things that I deemed are more important like building up my career or buying more properties or creating other streams of income pretty much finding other ways to make money. And because I took all of my focus away from YouTube, I was able to see the bigger picture that YouTube was in some way controlling my life or I just got too obsessed with it. You see, the thing is, I got so tired of talking about the YouTube algorithm simply because nobody actually knows what the hell it is. There are people who pretend they know or they figured out the algorithm, but really, who are we kidding here? Everyone always claims to have figured it out when they're just sharing what's worked for them. So that's just experience. The YouTube algorithm, honestly, it just uses really basic things. If you want to create a video that blows up, you just need to stick to the three T's. Have a really good thumbnail, have a catchy title, and make sure you select a trending topic. And once you have all these three, you just rinse and repeat and produce videos fast. That's it, that's really nothing more. I stepped back a little in my pursuit for the YouTube spotlight, and doing so allowed me to see what exactly YouTube is all about. I see YouTube in two different ways now. The first one is the one where most people see it. It is an opportunity to go viral, it is a chance to control your own lifestyle, and YouTube tends to reward those who work hard. But what YouTube really is, if you look at it from outside the box, is that YouTube is just a media platform. And what does the media love? Fresh and up-to-date content. Content that is relevant to what's happening right now, what's trending right now. And if you can cover these trends fast and be entertaining at the same time, then you have a winning formula here on YouTube. Because ultimately, current events are what most people want to watch. They want the news, they want the juicy gossips, they want to know how present things are going to affect their present life. They don't want to talk about the past or the future, they only want now. And so this kind of leads back to myself, because my content is not current. I always talk about how you should protect yourself now for the future, which no one cares about because I seem to be the only one with the vision. But because of that, my content becomes irrelevant and it makes it hard to get subscribers, which then gets no views and my YouTube channel struggles. So this kind of leads me back to not knowing what the hell I want from my YouTube channel. And I got so tired of chasing the views and subscribers. I did try changing up my content for my own sanity, but I get comments like this, which absolutely tore me down when I tried something different. And frankly speaking, I'm really not looking forward to repeating myself talking about views and subscribers anymore. Okay, so I did notice I'm being really negative, so I'm just going to add in some positivity to balance things out here. Not chasing the YouTube algorithm is actually a good thing because you set yourself free from all the views and subscribers, which should not matter at all if you're a small YouTube channel. Instead, you can switch your focus to better things like what do you want to get out of your YouTube channel, what's the focus of your channel, and which direction do you want your YouTube channel to take? These are the sort of questions that I have been asking myself lately, and I've decided to not rely on the randomness that is the YouTube algorithm. Instead, I want to use YouTube as a platform to open up more opportunities for myself. 
and I highly encourage you to do the same as well. There is something terribly wrong with the YouTube algorithm. You can never stop chasing it and it makes you create videos for the wrong reasons. Don't let the views and subscribers take your channel to the wrong path and damage your creativity. You're a lot better than that. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this one, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button so that YouTube knows this is a video that people want to watch and will push this video out to even more people. And with that said, bye for now and take care everyone.